Well, I graduated in, in 1978, and I was a steel worker, so I worked in a steel mill for a while. They had to shut half the mill down in 1984, and uh, I didn't have the seniority to stay. So I always wanted to be a Marine. Uh, my grandfather really loved the Marine Corps. Um, I knew Marines that were my teachers, um, police officers, firemen um, that I knew growing up through my life in my hometown, and, um, and I respected them. And, uh, you know, the Marine Corps League did a lot with the VFW and other parades for Christmas and Fourth of July and holidays. And, and I always saw the Marine recruiters and the Marines, and they always looked uh, the most squared away. And, uh, you know, those, those men and women that had served, you know, really impacted me as a young man. And uh, they were our community leaders. And, and those were the people that I wanted to emulate the... Uh, Coal mines had shut down, the steel mills were closing, the economy was, you know, kind of in the tank, and I figured it was time for me to go do what, uh, you know, kind of deep down inside of me, I knew I could do more and do better. Um, my first enlistment, and, you know, I came in older. I didn't, I came in when I was 24. I turned 25 in infantry training school uh, as a mortarman. Um, so I, I think I had a little bit of a different mindset than somebody coming right out of high school. Um, but I really, really revered my drill instructors. Um, they were an example to me that, uh, that I hadn't seen since uh, they reinforced what Skip taught me. Uh, but my grandfather, uh, Clarence Custer, was my biggest male role model. Just, a, just top notch. You know, I still feel him and talk to him every day. You know what I mean? He's in my life every day. Um, so I had, a, I think, a more mature outlook of just the nuance of being new into the Marine Corps. I, I think I listened more instead of talking more, and I watched a lot harder and didn't react, and, 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 I, and I interacted um, with challenges and things like that. So ITS was really, really good, and then from there I went to sea school, and uh, I went to sea duty um, on the USS Carl Vinson out of Alameda, California. and. Uh, I did two years on that duty, which was great because I wanted to travel. I got to see so many countries on Westpac, and uh, I fell in love with being at sea. I love being on a ship, and I love being out in the middle of the ocean and uh, training, and it's more cohesive. When you're with your unit on a boat, it's so much more cohesive than when you're on land and Liberty Sounds and everybody kind of gets to go. You learn about all the dynamics of your of your Marines, um, and even learn more about yourself. Um, so I really, really, my heart's I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Marine that loves to be at sea. Um, it, it's very, very, very soothing and comforting to me. Um, and then from there, I went to Twin Nine Palms. So I went from the ocean to the desert and uh, helped stand up Third LAV Battalion. You know, over th over 30 plus years. Um, you know, when I came in the Marine Corps, I'm sure there were some crusty old guys sitting around going, oh my God, what's going on with the Marine Corps? What's happened to the Marine Corps? Look at this generation. Um, you know.